Today I have some speed colouring with watercolour brush markers. Welcome back, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and I've got this beautiful hydrangea, it's a painter flower from Alta New and I want to do some watercolour brush marker colouring on the new watercolour paper set from Alta New. So these are pre-cut watercolour cardstock and they're very white which I really like about them because it's one thing I don't like about watercolour cardstocks in general is that they're quite yellow and um, when I use my other Nina cardstock it looked kind of weird with that so I do like that these are white and smooth so they are really easy to stamp on I did have to actually stamp this image twice and I'm using the obsidian ink because of the water coloring that I'm going to be doing so I'm pretty pleased that I use my misty here because I know that I can restamp and it's all going to be in exactly the same position So these are the colours that I want my hydrangea to be and in the blues and purples are my favourite. I do like the pinks as well and the white ones. Maybe I should colour this in white. That would look awesome. Okay, next time I'm going to do that. So I haven't used the watercolour brush markers on the Alta New cardstocks as yet and I wasn't sure how they're going to go. I usually use the Bristol Smooth which I know they work beautifully on. So I was really impressed how these worked on here. It's very similar to the Bristol though I found in the fact that you can't get too far ahead of yourself if you leave it too long between adding the colour and adding water because that's how I'm doing it today then it does sort of set in the paper a bit and you can it takes a little bit to work to work the colour and get rid of the lines that you might have put in there if that makes sense. So I'm using my usual technique here where I'm adding the watercolour brush marker to a petal at a time, petals that aren't next to each other and that just means I'm not going to have the colours bleeding to it, into each other and I try not to work too far ahead of myself. I found doing in these small areas two or three petals at a time sort of was the maximum that I could do depending on how much colour I was adding. And then I could just use my watercolour brush, they're not a pen, watercolour brush, that's what I'm using, to actually flood some water into that and mix the two colours together. To get the colours lighter, I simply added less of the watercolour brush marker colours and darker, similarly, I would add more colour. So the greens... I mixed on the cardstock the same but then after they dried I did come back in and add some more to get some more depth of color and after the and it doesn't take long to dry these because they are the watercolor brush markers so they're not I'm not adding a lot of water to each of them and I found the pink that the pinks the purples and the blues blended really beautifully together you may have noticed I accidentally picked up my moss marker and added it to under my blue, leaf, <laughs> blue leaves but that was a happy mistake because what I did is actually once I'd done all my coloring I actually picked a few petals around each of the flower heads and added some moss in and I just found that just gave a different variation to these and I really liked the way that that looked so don't beat yourself up if you make a mistake there's always a way around these things, generally speaking. <laughs> Although it does remind me once how I saw someone who'd taken a photo of their card and then they posted a second photo and it had a whole tub of yogurt <laughs> accidentally poured over the top of it. They dropped the whole, and it had, in the picture it had the whole tub and the yogurt dropped all over the card. I couldn't believe it. I would have cried. <laughs> Okay, so this is why I stamped my image off to the side here. I want to create a decorative edge on my card. And this is where the guide wire in the Fiskars trimmer is really helpful because I could just cut in 
each, the top and the bottom, just to leave a little gap around the edge of the flower. And then I could also use the line of the trimmer to um, put a pencil mark where it would have been. But you could easily do this with a craft blade and a ruler. You do not need to have a paper trimmer with a guide wire to do this. And it's a really beautiful effect on a card, especially a floral card. It gives that really pretty sort of decorative edge. I didn't make you sit through all of this. It took me a while to fussy cut. And I left that white border around the edge as well. Because I cut the edge off, I want to cut that portion off the front of my card as well. So I just put a tick mark on my cardstock on the very front cover. This is going to be a landscape side fold card. And I want to have sort of um, a bold statement. So I've got some of the essential black and white paper pack paper here, some black and white stripes, and I'm adding that to the inside of the card so that where the decorative edge of the flower is, you can see the black and white stripes. And when the cards open, it's sort of set back a little bit and that makes it look really pretty, I think. So I grabbed a sentiment from the Hello and Hugs stamp set and used my obsidian ink to stamp that on the front and then also adhered the panel to the front just using the glue tape. Because it's watercolour cardstock, I do like to add a little bit of extra glue tape just to make sure it's not going to shift. And I added a handwritten hello die cut from some jet black cardstock. So obviously this is part of a release and I'll have all the links to my blog and everything in the description below. So head to my blog, you'll find all the links and lots more inspiration for this beautiful paint of flower release from Alton U. I look forward to seeing you back here again real soon. If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up button to let me know that you did. And if you haven't already, it'd be awesome if you could subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you here real soon. Till then, happy paper crafting. Bye.